Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new Johnny on Late Night. Dak TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Oh, yes. Hello, everybody. You're too kind. You're too kind. Welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. I am your host. Uh, and not unfortunately, very much so fortunately, I am your host. Uh, Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes. And we've got so much news. I know. It's, it's just great for you guys. Okay? You get to look at this beautiful thing. And you get to find out all the news and all the hot goss on all of your favorite celebrities. So we've got no time to spare today. And we've got to jump right into our first segment of today's show, which is, of course, Broken News. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. This first artist that we are going to be talking about, I have talked about many times in my career. Okay, I followed her whole messy breakup with one Joshua Bassett hound, Joshua Bassett, uh, her career on High School Musical, the musical, the series, and Bizarre Buck and her other Disney shows is where I met her. <laughs> I didn't meet her in person, actually. It was just through a television screen. I have yet to meet one Miss... Olivia Rodrigo! Oh, Olivia Rodrigo! Oh, okay, yes. She had the breakup album of the century, okay? When she dropped Sour, uh, her, her first album ever, her first solo album, uh, Sour, came out two years ago. Isn't that crazy? That, that's crazy. Everybody was angsty and yelling and getting their driver's license last week. I got my driver's license last week. Just like we always talked about. And you were so excited for me. That album got me through a lot. Okay? It really did, you know? It's always one step forward and three steps back. I'm the love of your life until I make you mad. <sighs> you know, it's just, it's such a powerful love. You're still a traitor to me. You know, it's just, it's a lot. It's an emotional uh, and very heavy album. Okay, you know, good for you. You look happier. <sighs> I need to make an appointment with my therapist. Uh, the Grammy Award winning singer Olivia Rodrigo uh, teased her sophomore album with a post while celebrating her first ever album, Sour. Uh, it was a handwritten note or something and it had some little, little sprinkles of a little tease within it. Uh, apparently, people are calling it Or2. O-R-2, because within this post, she capitalized the letters O, R, and the number 2. So people, I don't know, okay? For me, I'm thinking it's like Sour 2, because or 2, but then again, there's a U in there, in Sour. Or 2. Or 2, you know? Or maybe she's saying there's two albums coming. You know, it's like a two-parter. Did you think of that? Probably not. That's why I'm here. No, but we're really excited for Olivia's new album. You know, I still don't know what happened between her and Joshua. I've always been Team Joshua just because, you know, he almost died. And I like Joshua, okay? I'm a Joshua fan. Not gonna lie to you. His music kind of slaps and it's underrated. I'm not gonna lie, okay? You, you come for me, Olivia fans. I swear, if you come from, it, hey, I just sang like half of the Sour album a second ago, so you know that I like Olivia too. I just, 
uh, I stand Joshua, okay? Anywho, also in the news, we've got Jojo Siwa once again. I hope we're not talking about a sex life because like I said, no one asked, okay? No, we're not. Apparently, Jojo's home was broken into earlier this week. Yeah, you know, I've had a crazy ex-lover break into my home before and uh, it was very scary for me. Uh, you know, she just wanted all of this a little bit more than I offered. And I said, no more. I can't, I can't be putting it out like this, okay? No, but JoJo had someone break into her house and, uh, she, she posted some security footage up on her Snapchat story. She said she was burglarized and, uh, she called the security footage terrifying, which, yeah, JoJo, there are strangers in your house. That, that's scary for anyone, okay? <laughs> you don't, that's, of course it's terrifying, okay? Uh, but apparently it made her sick to watch uh, in the share, shared footage. And uh, yeah, there were two armed men that can be seen breaking into a house when she wasn't home. And she's just grateful that her family and her pets and friends and whatever are all safe. Uh, just crazy, okay? Why are we breaking into JoJo Siwa's house? What, do, do you want a bow? You want a bow bow? Huh, from JoJo? You couldn't just go to Target and buy one? <laughs> yeah, no, these punks, oh my gosh. I hope they get arrested, okay? JoJo is already having a hard enough time finding out where she can go have sexual relations. She doesn't need people breaking into her private space as well, okay? It's the only place she can do it is in her private private home, okay? Jeez. <laughs> also in the news, we've got David Archuleta. Oh my gosh, David. Now you rem may remember him from American Idol, okay, where he took second place and I was so angry. Okay, I voted. I voted every week. I was cheering for David Archuleta, okay? I tell you what, when David Cook won American Idol, I was ready to riot. I was going to go out there and I was going to take, I, I don't even remember who the judges were at that time, but I feel like it was Paula, Randy, and someone else. Maybe not. I don't know. If it was Paula and Randy, I was going to take Randy and say, dog, David Archuleta deserved to win. Okay. No, uh, I would have shaken him. Not stood. <laughs> uh, but anywho, no, David Archuleta, uh, spoiler alert. For anyone, oh, I, I already spoiled it now because I already said his name. I don't care. The Masked Singer, okay? Uh, David was in costume on The Masked Singer, singing away apparently, and uh, he was unmasked. He was the runner-up on that show too. You know, this is really messed up, okay? <laughs> Just let David win, okay? He deserves it, okay? He's been through a lot, okay? Anywho. Uh, no, but he, uh, called the Mass Singer experience, uh, a very healing experience. Yes, he said, uh, that they don't make you feel like you're under a magnifying glass, so it's completely different from the American Idol experience. And, uh, he talked a lot about his coming out experience and how it was just hard leaving the Mormon church and, like, living his truth and all of this stuff. And, uh... You know, we're happy for David. He's he's living his life. He's doing his thing, you know. And uh, I'll never forget his hit single, Crush, okay? And then he was on all of these shows, like Disney Channel's Hannah Montana. David was out there doing a lot, okay? How did he not win American Idol? Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. What's David Cook doing these days, huh? Huh? I never see him anywhere. He doesn't come back to American Idol and help and mentor these these people. David does. David Archuleta does. Okay? So put some respect on his name and give him an award that says you actually won this singing competition. Okay? <laughs> also in the news, we've got Martha Stewart. I love talking about Martha. You know why? Because she's much older than me, but she's still got a better bod. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what kind of Pilates she's doing, but she looks great, okay? Uh, apparently, Martha Stewart was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. She became the oldest woman to be on the cover, 
and uh, she looked great. She's in a swimsuit, and I was not even grossed out, okay? Usually when a grandma's on the cover in a swimsuit, I'd be like, Ew, naked grandma, get me out of here. But Martha Stewart, she looked pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. You were thinking it, okay? You saw it, and you said, Martha, you look good for this age. How old is she? She's, she's like 80-something. I don't know how old she is, but uh, apparently people are saying that you know, this is very photoshopped. They airbrushed her skin. She's had a lot of work done. Uh, no, and she said, I have never in my life had any work done, okay? No Botox, no nothing. No injections, nothing, okay? And that's just how she looks. And it was a very, uh, very light edit on these photos. And there is not a lot of retouching. There is not a lot of airbrushing of my skin. That's just how I look, okay? That's... That's what Martha was saying. And uh, honestly, if we all just cooked from her cookbooks, maybe we could look like that. What's the secret? I, I do not know. Um, but yeah, good for her, okay? Uh, I don't know what exercises or what skincare routine she's using, but sign me up, Martha, okay? I will do that. If I look like that when I'm 80, I better be going to pound town every week, okay? <laughs> I got very warm in here. I should be wearing my swimsuit. Oh my gosh. Anywho, that is all of the broken news that we've got for you guys. Okay? It was a lot. And I'm sorry for any controversial comments I make. If you cancel me, it's too late. I've already canceled you before you could cancel me. Okay? So, uh, it's, it's all out of love. Okay? I'm a very loving person. Anywho, uh, that is all of the broken news, but we've got another segment for you. This is, of course, Hyper Headlines. Oh, my gosh. Okay. First up in Hyper Headlines, which, you know, that's where the news is hyper, but so am I. Okay. Uh, we've got none other Priscilla Presley. We are talking about Priscilla. Okay. Get this. She died. We talked about it. Very sad. Uh, heart failure or something. I can't remember. But she had requested to be buried uh, on Graceland's property. You know, where Elvis's home is in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, apparently that request was denied. Okay, they said, no, we're not burying you there, Priscilla. I know you're dead already and you can't hear me. But maybe you can. I don't know. Priscilla, are you here right now? Uh, no, but they said no, which is just stupid, if you ask me. Bury Priscilla next to her ex-husband, okay? If that's where she wants to be, put her there, okay? <laughs> Priscilla, uh, she went through a lot with Elvis, okay? Like, we all love him. We love Elvis, his music at least, you know, but... There was some controversy there, okay? Yeah, and he was banging other girls. So uh, if she loved him enough to be like, yeah, I still want to be buried by him, you know? That love is forever. Uh, bury me there. Just bury her there. What's it going to cost you? Not a single thing. Honestly, more people would probably come. They're like, oh, I want to see where Elvis, Priscilla, and Elvis's parents are all buried. Bring me there. But no, Graceland and the people who are in charge of of the estate said, no, Priscilla, you will not. I, I'm, I'm confused by it, okay? <laughs> also in the news, we've got Timothy Chalamet. We've talked about him and his relationship to, to Kylie Jenner. Weird. Uh, no, not the only weird thing. He's playing Willy Wonka in a new movie, but he's also playing the iconic Bob Dylan in the long-awaited Bob Dylan biopic. Okay, I didn't even know that it was long-awaited or that there was a biopic coming out about Bob Dylan, but I'm kind of excited for it, okay? Apparently, Timothy is so ready for the role, and uh, he will be using his very own vocals while playing Bob Dylan. Uh, Timothy has been taking daily voice lessons, um, and, you know, he, he's, he's excited, <laughs> okay? Um... I mean, I'm intrigued. I can kind of see it when I look at Timothy, you know? Not really. 
But uh, that's great for Timothy getting these major roles. You know, he's a great actor, uh, and I'm intrigued to see how his singing is and how his portrayal of Bob Dylan goes, as well as Willy Wonka. You know, I'm equally excited for his portrayal of these characters and these humans, okay? One is a real human, so hopefully he does that very well. The other one is beloved by many already, so he better not mess it up or everybody in the entire world will cancel him. <laughs> Two times over, if he messes both of these up, oh, his career is done, okay? <laughs> also in the news, we've got none other than Miley Cyrus. Yes, oh, we love talking about Miley. You guys love Miley, I've noticed, okay? <laughs> Uh, no, but apparently Miley is looking back at some of her more controversial performances, you know, like twerking on Robin Thicke at the MTV Music Awards. She, you know, uh, she had a foam finger that she, the, the finger was pointing and she pointed it at a, her no-no square and people were uncomfortable, okay? She was riding wrecking balls half naked and things were crazy there for a little while. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Miley is looking back, and in a recent interview, she opened up about her early adulthood and intense spotlight that was cast on her while she navigated her private life and adolescence, and she said that she was creating attention for herself because she was, she was dividing herself from a character she had played, uh, which was Hannah Montana, you know? She didn't want to be always titled as America's Sweetheart and uh, Childhood Star Hannah Montana and, you know, nobody's perfect, you gotta work it, you know? And everybody could have listened to those Hannah Montana songs, okay? And been like, oh, you know what? Maybe we're being too harsh on Miley. Nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody twerks on Robin Thicke, okay? Uh, no, she's looking back, and she says that now she's an adult, and she just, she just realized how harshly she was judged. And, uh, you know, we all can just live and move on. <laughs> we don't have to hold it against Miley. She's doing bigger, better things. She's living her life. Just let her live it, okay? If you don't like her, just keep scrolling. That's my best advice for you. Just like me. You don't like me? Hit that subscribe button and then keep scrolling, okay? <laughs> I don't need to hear what you have to say. I don't really give a crap. Also in the news, we've got none other than Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and get this, Gwyneth Paltrow and Cameron Diaz, all of them. Apparently, they were on a date. Uh, there were a few other A-listers there as well in uh, Montecito, California. And uh, the outing followed Harry's return from the coronation and everything. And apparently, they were all just grabbing some din-din and having a good time. Weird group. Don't quite understand it. But uh, I kind of love it also. Okay? Uh, I hope Gwyneth was giving them all some goop. Uh, and candles that smell like her JJ, and I hope they were having a good time, you know? <laughs> also in the news, we've got Beyonce and Jay-Z. You know, I remember a few years back when Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with Becky with the good hair, and then Solange tried to beat the crap out of him in an elevator, and, you know, we weren't really sure if they were going to stay together, and what was going to happen to Blue Ivy, you know? We never knew. Uh, but apparently, after dropping Lemonade, Beyonce said, you know what, I'll stay with you, Jay, okay? And they are still together, and now they have done something crazy. Apparently, they are the new owners of a $200 million home in Malibu. The 30,000-square-foot home resides in an area known as Billionaire's Row, uh, and marking their purchase... <laughs> Get this. This marked the most expensive home bought in California. Is that true? Like, what was it again? It was it was two hundred million. I feel like there's billion dollar homes. No, am I wrong? But uh, I mean, good for Beyonce and Jay Z. Uh, I don't know. They can afford it for sure, right? I know I'm right. Okay, they got money like no other. Okay, they got money, honey. 
and Beyonce dropped an album about him cheating on her and made more money off of the cheating and then they got back together and you know did whatever like they went on tour together like <laughs> they milked the controversy and I respect that okay that is just smart business moves okay <laughs> take take whatever negative things in your life and make money off of it okay so if you're gonna learn anything from Jay-Z and Beyonce Take that and run with it. Your lover cheats on you, write an album, go on tour with them, okay? <laughs> yeah, but not everybody should sing either, so maybe don't, okay? Only if you can sing. <laughs> also in the news, we've got Ariana Grande, yes! Okay, Ariana, Ari, I love her. I was so mad when she got married. I don't even know how to explain it, okay? She didn't even take a chance on old Johnny boy here. She didn't even want to wanna go out for some din-din. She hooked up with Pete Davidson, okay? And what's he got that I don't, okay? He's scrawny. What, he's got tattoos? He's a little angsty? He was on SNL? What, I don't see it. But anywho. <laughs> Ariana Grande uh, is getting a lot of comments because a clip came out of her on set for the new Wicked film where she is playing uh, Glinda, the good witch, uh, and people were saying that she was lip syncing over Kristen Chenoweth's singing for the movie. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, Kristen was asked about this and she cracked up. She said, I cracked up because I've heard it. And I knew it was her. Uh, and I was like, why did they think that's me? We are very similar and we have been her whole life. And then when we talk on the phone, we sound like dolphins. I know that she has been diligently working on the, that vocal and she can sing anything and I'm so proud of her. Which I love that, you know, keep supporting Ari. I mean, here's the deal. Why would Ariana Grande have to lip sync to someone else's vocals? It's Ariana Grande. We all know she can sing. Why are we pretending that she can't? Okay? J stop the hate. Don't mess with my girl Ari, okay? Well, I will, I'll rip your ponytail off, okay? I, I say that because Ariana Grande used to wear a very high pony. <laughs> Ariana Grande can sing, and if you don't know that by now, then you are uncultured, and I don't even want to hear you speak. Like, you, your mouth should be taped shut for forever, okay? You're just jealous, and I don't like a jealous, uh, jealous, mean bully person on the internet, okay? Those are the folks that should not be allowed to be on the interwebs, okay? That's just my thoughts. Anywho. That is all the news that I got for you guys today. I know it was a lot. We unpacked every single thing that we possibly could have in this time. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. But I can't let you go yet. You know why? Because I haven't found out yet what's in my drawers. So we might as well just open these bad boys up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. I got a box. Crayola. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and I got a little book, a little notebook. It says an inspiration journal. Brainstorm, shine, action, vision, cultivate, update, goals, teamwork, creativity. These are a lot of very motivational words. Okay. Well, I think there's nothing better than making a list of things that you hope to achieve in life. Right? So we're going to grab a little shoppie here. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's this little guy? I like that. It's red. You know, that, that, that just feels very like, yes, Johnny. You know why? Because it's one of my colors. Uh, anywho. Okay, so Johnny's, Johnny's dream it do it list. Okay. I'm going to put my dreams and goals and aspirations on this list. Are you ready for this? Number one, uh, take Jimmy Kimmel's job. <laughs> yes, take that. Okay, number two, okay, uh, meet 
and go on date with A, Madeline Klein, love her, okay, <laughs> B, Selena Gomez, C, Ariana Grande, and D, Beyonce, if she decides she's over the cheetah, Mr. Jay-Z. That's a good one. Yeah, because he cheated. You don't want to be with the cheetah, Beyonce, okay? Get out of there, whether you have kids or not, okay? Once a cheetah, always a cheetah. Okay, number three. Um, what's another goal of mine in a dream? Um... Mm, not much really I kind of have everything I could ever dream of Because you know I just kind of go do it I'm pretty incredible Really I could say I'd like to be the most famous human of all time But I already am that So what do I ask for What What do you get someone who already has everything Right <laughs> that, that is the question Right Yeah Oh you know number three I want the genie lamp from Aladdin. I want it. I want him here, okay? Just just so I have three backup wishes, just in case, okay? But number one is definitely take Jimmy Kimmel's job. I don't think he deserves it. Uh, anywho, that is all I got for you guys tonight. What are some of your dreams and wishes and uh, goals in life? Let me know in, your, in the comments below, and I'll read them, and I'll let you know if they're any good or not. If they're not, I'll be honest, so don't, don't get mad when I call you out, okay? Uh, I appreciate you guys watching so much. I love you all. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments, and turn on that bell for some notifications whenever I post. Okay, I will see you guys next time with a whole bunch of brand new news and take it easy. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh my gosh. No, seriously, if I met any of those ladies, I would be the happiest man on earth. Okay, I would make them feel like princesses. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, and it, it would just be great. And if I took Jimmy Kimmel's job, <laughs> could you imagine? Johnny in Kimmel's time slot? Yeah, he, I'm more deserving. What can I say? I know. Uh, I get it.